Okay, so this is how Apple Invites works. First, you do need an iCloud Plus subscription, which you should naturally have if you pay for iCloud storage. You know, like that 99 cents you might pay a month for those 50 gigs, that's iCloud Plus. But in the top left, this is where you can navigate to all of your different events. And then over here in the top right, if you tap the plus symbol, it lets you create one. What you can do first is add a background, pick an image from here, from your camera roll. But I like using Image Playground. That way you don't have to search for an image, you just write it out. This is where you name the event set the date and time, a description to kind of tell what it's about. You can create a shared photo album, which will then, you know, appear on their phones in their shared album. The guests can come in here, add photos, videos, and leave comments. And then there's the shared music playlist at the bottom. You can tap add playlist and select one of your playlists or create a new one. But this only works with Apple Music. But once you're done, you're gonna tap preview in the top right. It gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like on their end. If everything looks good, tap next in the top right. Now, if you wanna keep things a bit more private and approve each guest, you can toggle this one right here. Tapping here where it says choose a guest, it'll let you invite people. And then the current guest list and their RSVP status will be at the bottom. There's also this filter icon up here in the top right that's gonna give you even more control. You can choose if your guests can have a plus one. You can also, you know, approve guests within here. You can turn on and off if they can see the event background or not. There's some accessibility options and event management here at the bottom. But once you're done, just tap X on the top left and it will take you back to the main page for your new event. You can write notes in here almost like a bulletin board and you can invite iOS and Android users, but the Android users will have to create an Apple ID to participate. See you, Apple. But I hope this helps answer some of your questions on how this looks and works, but if there's more you wanna know, let me know down below.